And as you can see, there's three pine trees right here that mark the cemetery. Where it got its nickname, Cemetery in the Pines. And we, while we were doing the project, we laid down grass seed and hay to kind of knock down the weeds a little and get grass to grow. And yeah, it was pretty, pretty hard, but we got through it. This cemetery is pretty old and it holds a lot of history in it. It's around 200 years old and there is six or more Revolutionary War veterans here. There's over 90 gravestones here. And some of them are pretty bad condition, but they're still here. So it's actually really pretty cool once you think about all the history that's being remembered by preserving cemeteries like this. The wind is blowing right now, and obviously that recording in an outdoor environment like this, it isn't a perfect place. When, when, um, when Michael was done with his comments, I thought about everything that I had just heard. And I thought about what this site, this cemetery, this place meant to me and my family. I thought about uh, my friendship with Micah and all the help that he's given me. And I was really overcome with emotion. This was a really, really special day. And um, this is a really special kid, a special young man, a special friend. Abraham Culver actually held the first town meeting and church service of the village of Ovid in his, which, the house which used to be his house right up there, which is now an Eastman house, which is significant because his, the Eastmans actually have relatives who were buried in the cemetery. excited say, oh, we have a Revolutionary War veteran in our cemetery. Well, that's great, but Ovid, in this cemetery alone, has six of them. It's pretty awesome. so impressed. You, you, you really, really have done a great job because it, it's just too, it's just wonderful. The brush hasn't grown up that much and it, it looks wonderful. You did a really good job. Thank you, my dear. <laughs>